Can you see PowerPoint? Yes, yes, I can. Okay, miss. Mr. Said, anyone else? One, two, three, four, five. They are muted. Mr. Said. Said. Rahab. Muhammad. Nafi. And the Said. Muhammad. Said. Right. Okay, Ms. Rahab. Yes. Uh, do you see my PowerPoint? You see my, uh, my PowerPoint? Yes, yes, I can see it. What can you see? National Teacher Training Program, MTTP Egypt. Okay. Year two training. You are in the right way. What about others? I want them to open their voice, their sound. And Mr. Said open their his sound. Mr. Muhammad Mufi don't use it. Mr. Said, well, Mr. Muhammad Mufi, I'm pleased to. Hello, Mr. Abahar. Good evening. Good night. Good afternoon. Good night. <laughs> Nice to see you. Nice to see you and to hear you. I, I am very I am very pleased you join us. Me too. Uh, Are we engaged to be in the mail and did inshallah maak or in the inshallah to have to come on within my nafs of my tax mukala mugam inshallah to read a read cool nest to share a read here. Allah and a howl cover in the لقاء كده يا رب ربنا يسر طيب يو سي ماي بريتش كونسل ناشونال تيتشر تريننج بروجرام ان تي تي بي ايجيبت يو سي ات يا يا اي كان سي ات ذس از ستارت اور تريننج اور تريننج ستارت ويز ناشونال تيتشر تريننج بروجرام يير 2 ليتس ستارت ويز ذا فيرست ذا فيرست وان ذا فيرست رولز ان ذا اون لاين كلاس روم If we have in the online classroom, we have some rules. The first one, sign in on time, keep the mic muted, listen, look at the screen, answer when we ask you, uh, use non-verbal feedback, don't draw on the screen, and the other one, raise your hand. This is the first, this is the steps where we can use. Let's go to our agenda, our agenda today. Introduction. Please, I see something. Recording, okay. Uh, and uh, icebreaker, and the other is 21st century skills. The last one is developing our school language. Let's start with the first one, introduction. This is your teacher's reflective journal. This is your book. I send it on the group, WhatsApp group, and I ask you to download it. Do download it. Hmm. Who can answer? Do you hear me clear? Mr. Muhammad. Mr. Muhammad, yeah. do you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. My voice is clear? My voice the, the internet is sometimes not well. Mr. Hack. Yes. Uh, do you download your book, teacher? No, no, no. no. Uh, try to download it. No, I didn't. Uh, please try to download it. Okay, I'll try. Okay. The contents, content, uh, workshop, we have six workshops. This is the of the book. And there is something else. There is. The voice is not clear, Mr. Abdul Wahab. My voice is clear. 
Hello, hello. The I... voice is not clear. Not clear? No. No, is it clear or not? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, your book, we have the contents. This is the contents of the book. We have six workshops and the other one, let's uh, apply to our curriculum. curriculum. This is a uh, micro teaching and the other is the class, Google Classroom tasks. We can solve, we can answer these uh, tasks in Google Classroom. I sent all of you the link of Google Classroom. And the last one is uh, let's have an action plan. This is about your book. This is about your book. So what about the tag? Our text today, structures of year two e tags. We have two tags in each month. Tag A at the beginning, tag A at the beginning of the month. This is theoretical information uh, facilitating the workshops using uh, Bridge Council PowerPoint like I use now. But I have something changing. Uh, the other one in between tags, between two tags, we have to do the Google Classroom tasks. In the Google Classroom, you can, uh, you can uh, finish it or answer it. Uh, tag B at the end of the month, and we have three steps. First one, discuss the workshop. Discuss the workshop. The second one is micro teaching. The last one is do on action, decide on action plan. This is what I talk about in your books. Right? What about today? Today workshop is the first icebreaker. I do it. Show a map. Mm -hmm. This is the icebreaker. You can use it. It's a very similar tool in a primary cycle. This is a map. This is a map. Uh, connect. We are going to talk about icebreaker. Icebreaker. We can show a map. This is an sample activity we can use in primary cycle. We have a map, we have a map. This is a fun teaching activity. You can show a map on the screen. It can be a map of the world or a map of a country. We can ask simple questions as, where are they? Is it hot or cold in? And you choose the name of any cities. Uh, how long have you been there? Uh, what is the weather like in? And we can see, ask the question. Uh, then we can motivate them to practice. Then they can answer or ask together in pairs. Let's go to our task today. Our task today is about is about introduction to 21st century skills and the other is developing our classroom language. The first one, introduction to the 21st century skills. By by the end of this session, by the end of this session. We can state it what 21st century skills are. What else? Recognize why they are important for our learners. Defiant deep learning. Now, let's start with understanding 21st century skills. We have a question, what are 21st century skills? Please watch the video and try to answer this question, please. Core skills may not be a term that you are familiar with. You may be more familiar with 21st century skills or life skills, um, but they all mean broadly the same thing. These are some of those key classroom skills such as critical thinking, leadership, confidence, media literacy, creativity, time management, flexibility, all of these skills which should be integrated and embedded within good English language teaching practice. Lots of teachers will already do uh, lots of these skills that have already be found within many of your lessons, but it's perhaps something we, as teachers we need to be a bit more conscious of, a bit more focused on, and talk to our students about how we can actually develop them and why they're important in our learning.
Well, the first core skill is critical thinking and problem solving. And as language teachers, we really need to help our learners develop this skill because it allows them to understand how language is used in very different ways in very different contexts. By being critical uh, and taking a critical approach to texts, whether those are written texts in newspapers or spoken uh, discourse, by uh, enabling our learners to become problem solvers with and through language, we are helping them become better language learners. The second core skill is collaboration and communication. Again, language teachers have lots of opportunities to um, produce activities that facilitate the kinds of collaborative activities that will en enable their learners to become better um, speakers and writers of English. So it's by using those opportunities to work together with other people collaboratively that we become be better language users. Creativity. Creativity and imagination is another core skill. Language learning provides so many different opportunities for imaginative, imaginative types of um, approaches to whether they're sort of artistic or through song and drama or through written language and expressing ourselves through stories. Um, another core skill is citizenship. Citizenship as being a member of a class being a member of a group, a school, a learning, online learning community. Being a citizen is expressed through language and so language teachers are in a really good place to help learners develop that skill. Digital literacy, really important core skill. Um, it's important because we live in a world where we are constantly online now and um, enabling our learners to be able to work with different kinds of digital texts is a really important skill, uh, whatever language is being used. And the final core skill, leadership and personal development. This brings all of those other core skills together. As English language teachers, we can help our learners plan, think through their own learning, become autonomous learners by developing this core skill. What are 21st century scholars? Who can give me the answer? Huh? Who can show me the answer? Anyone? You are all muted. Who? Who can answer? Who can answer? You are all muted. Mr. Saeed, can you join us? Mr. Muhammad, Mr. Ha. Yes, I can, Mr. Abdullah. What are 21st century skills? Um, critical thinking. Great. Managing, managing time. Okay, what else? Problem solving. Okay, what else? Collaboration and communication. Great, what else? Imagination. Okay, what else? Leadership and personal uh, development. Thank you, Mr. Hay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. They are, what are uh, 21st century skills? They are, these are critical thinking, uh, critical thinking, collaboration, communication, and creativity. They are what? They are critical thinking and problem solving, citizenship, digital literacy, collaboration and communication, creativity and imagination. The last one is student, student leadership and personal development. Like, why should we know the 21st century skills? Why should we know them? Why should we know them? Know the, uh, know tw the 21st century skills. Do you have an answer? Huh? Can you, Mr. Hab? Why, why do we know, should we know them? Hmm. Uh, to to uh, develop using the language in class. Great. What else? Do you think, uh, is there an uh, answer? Mr. Muhammad, Mr. Saeed, Mr. Saeed, uh, Mr. Muhammad Ramadan, can you join us? Yes. Can you join yes, us? Because I think because we live in the 21st century, so we have to learn the skills of the, this century. Uh, now we are in the internet world. Mm. We are. Sure we all should use the internet. Do you agree with me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, the internet has open access to 
account of information and learn only to be to be with what have been called 21st century skills to deal with this information. But the other thing is we are going to talk about please read it quickly and try to think what what is what skills does it match with this definition? Huh. Please try to read it quickly, please. Huh. Who can give me answer? Who can? Huh. Oh, problem solving. This is problem solving. Oh, great. This is a critical and the problem solving. Uh, the second one. Oh, I do it. Okay. This is the second one is collaboration and communication. But the third one, I think, huh? The third. Huh. Who can share me? Mr. Hab, share me. What about other? Mr. Said, out. Mr. Said, don't speak. Mr. Muhammad, uh, and you. Uh, Mr. Hab, uh, what do you think? Uh, give me some time. Developing innovation, imagination, and uh, carrying out new ideas. This is we call it. Using Im uh, imagination. Okay, creativity and imagination. And yes, what, creativity. what other skills? Uh, Developing activity globally, uh, our citizens. Huh? This is what we call it citizenship. This is like the other one. Using the technology, this is means what? Huh? Okay, Mr. Hat, can you can you share? No, uh, no I can't. Sorry. Digital literacy. Uh, what about the last one? The last one is uh, leadership and uh, personal development. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Hat. Hi. We have twenty-first century skills. <laughs> What do you understand by 21st century skills? Why might they be important for learners to develop? Have you ad adapted any teaching approaches which have helped your learners to develop any of these skills? We have a feedback of this. Please, Mr. Hat, can you please answer, please? There are the skills learners need to have, the essential skills in uh, literacy and numeracy, numeracy uh, math, as well as skills such as uh, creativity and in ICI, ICT. in order to uh, teach us in all areas of learning and work in the 21st century. Um, the, the words are so small for me, so I take time to read it. Don't worry. Don't because, worry. I, because I use my mobile phone. Do, 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 do you know what the meaning of ICT? No, no, I don't. Information, communication, technology. ICT? Information. Again? Information. information again mr abdul yes information communication technology yes okay why might might they be important for learners to develop these skills are now essential for learners to participate in emerging world of technology and information okay. what about deep learning deep learning it's one of the keys of changes for us this century to develop educational quality in all contexts, leading to improved learning outcomes for our learners to do this. We need to prepare our learners properly for the world of work through the acquisitions of these 21st century skills. This involves teaching which removes the learners from the service to deep learning. We change from teacher learning approach 
to learner to learner center approach. Why is it important? It's a feedback. It's a feedback for another question. I make it uh, quickly because we don't have a lot of time. We have 40 minutes only. <laughs> 